In today's class, we are going to learn about the exception of solubility. In the earlier class, we have learned about what is solubility. Now there are some exceptions to the uh, concept. So today's class is about exceptions of solubility. So we have already know, we already know what is solubility. If the difference in radii is high, we say that the compound is highly soluble. If the difference in radii, difference in radii is high, we say the compound is highly soluble. Solubility is high. We say the compound is highly soluble, right? But there are some exceptions of solubilities. The first is the halides of beryllium. Halides of beryllium. So the halides of beryllium, we have an example here, BEF2, BECL2, BBR2, and BEI2. Since we know that the beryllium belongs to the second period element and the fluorine also belongs to the second period element. So they have a good overlapping and the difference in radii is also less and the solubility of the compound will be less, right? In the normal trends, in the, in the earlier classes, we have learned that the order should be like this. Order should be like this, right? We have learned that because there is a poor overlapping. Poor overlapping between beryllium and fluorine because they, sorry, they, uh, 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 good overlapping between beryllium and fluorine and the compound is uh, uh, less soluble, right? When the, when the difference in radii is high, the solubility is high. But here beryllium and fluorine belong to the second period element and the difference in radii is less, so it is less soluble. The normal trend should be like this. But it is found that, it is found experimentally that the hydration energy of beryllium fluoride is greater than the lattice energy. Beryllium fluoride uh, hydration energy is greater than the lattice energy. So the order will be like this. BEF2 greater than BCL2 greater than BBR2 greater than BEI2. The reason could be appended that the beryllium fluoride has a higher hydration energy than the lattice energy. The reason, what, what is the reason you can append here? That beryllium has a higher hydration energy than lattice energy. It has a higher hydration energy than lattice energy. And also, if we go by Fazan's rule, what Fazan's rule says, the small cation and large anion, if a compound is having a small cation and large anion, it, has, it will have a highly, highly covalent character. It will be highly covalent. So B, B I2 is highly covalent, highly covalent character. It will show a covalent character and hence it is less soluble in water. So the solubility order of beryllium will be BF to BCL to BEBR to BEI2. In similar case, we have solubility of uh, halides, uh, if you take about uh, the carbonate, carbonate of alkali metal if you take the carbonate of alkali metal if you talk about the lithium carbonate or we say sodium carbonate or we say potassium carbonate or we say rubidium carbonate or we say cesium carbonate if you take an example of this lithium belongs to the second period and the size of anion that is carbonate is bigger the difference in radii is high the solubility would be high. According to that concept, the difference is the dye is high, the solubility high. The order would be like this. Order would be like this. Order would be like this. But it is found, again it is found experimentally that the lithium chloride has a higher hydration energy than the lattice energy. So the, so the order, the order would be lithium carbonate less than NO2CO3 less than K2CO3 less than Rb2CO3 less than CS2CO3. Got my point? Because lithium carbonate has a higher lattice energy, has a higher hydration energy than the uh, lattice energy. So the order will be like this, not this. This was according to difference in radar solubility. This was this was a major concept, but it was found experimentally that the hydration energy of lithium carbonate is greater than the uh, cesium uh, lithium carbonate. Uh, the order would be lithium carbon, sodium carbon, K2CO2, RB2CO2, CS2O2. Thank you. Good job.